Hey everyone, Richard here, and today we're showing off our top 10 comic covers, so let's just get into it. Alright, so we're showing off our top 10 comic covers, uh, and this is for David, Seeking Nearment Comics 1000, I guess, subscriber milestone. Um, he's a bit past that now, but uh, I just wanted to show support, go ahead and make this video. Um, very difficult to pick only 10 covers. Uh, I set some own limitations for myself. I'm doing only modern covers, not repeating any characters, and uh, I'm going to do five rock comics and five slabs. Um, these aren't necessarily the best, best in my collection. That could change day to day. Uh, this is strictly just flipping through my comics, and like I like that cover. And these were the ten that I chose. So yeah, let's go with the very first one. We have New Avengers number 33. This is just a normal cover. It's not a variant or anything. Not terribly expensive. But I think it's one of Delato's best works. Just a really, really nice Doctor Doom cover. And... Yeah, I, I had to show this one. Next up, we have Inferno number one, Adi Granoff. Uh, I think this is arguably his best cover. Adi Granoff has a lot of really nice artworks, but finding, I guess, the quintessential Adi Granoff uh, cover is kind of hard, in my opinion. Um, but this one has magic, and I really, really like it. So, yeah. Next, Batgirl number 12, Art Germ. Uh, this is the book that essentially made Art Germ famous. So I feel like it has to be shown as the quintessential Art Germ book. Uh, Cat, uh, Catwoman 4, I believe, is a very strong runner-up, possibly better than this cover. Um, but for a non-variant cover that just had really great lasting effects. I felt like this was the one to add. Alright, so these next two I'm counting as one because it's essentially one cover, just variants of it, but it is Red Sonia number eight, Jenny Frizen variant. Uh, and I chose this one because I think it's quite possibly the best use of negative space I've seen on a comic. Um, yeah, I these are just really beautiful books in my opinion. And I just really, really like them. So yeah, there's that one. And the last Raw comic, we got Mighty Thor 705. Um, I feel like this this variant was slept on a bit when it came out. Um, it's it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Uh, it's actually interesting, if you look up the original artwork of this, it's actually a bigger image. It got cropped for this, but yeah. Really great book. And now for our slabs. Uh, these aren't really in any particular order, but we'll start with X-Men Unlimited number 47. We got a Josh Middleton cover. Uh, this is old, old school Josh Middleton. His new stuff is very realistic. Um, in comparison, this is highly stylized. Uh, I like both variants of his artwork, um, but I feel like this. We had to go with this classic for, for this one. Um, I have some original art from Josh from this period, so I don't know. Just felt like this was the one I needed to show. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and show Supergirl and the Legion of Superheroes number twenty-three. The Adam Hughes variant. It's double signed by Mark Wade and Adam Hughes. And uh, yeah, this is probably his best work in my opinion. And yeah, beautiful, beautiful book. Next, we got Spider One, Ghost Spider. Number one, the 1 100 variant. Uh, picking only one spider one cover was very difficult, uh, but I feel like this one is just a good representation of her. So two more books to show. X-23 number one, again, Delato. Um, this is a book I wish got homaged more often. 
Uh, it's just a really, really cool pose of X-23. And, yeah. And last but not least, um, if you've followed my channel for a while, I'm quite consistent with this book. This is my favorite variant. Black Widow number 2, the Smoking Gun variant by Stephanie Hans. Very hard to get book. And yeah, that's this one's definitely my favorite. Uh, but yeah, that's all of my comic covers. Um, I might end up doing another one of these just for fun, uh, showing some older books. But this one is for David's contest, milestone, support, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so yeah, go definitely go check out David. I'll leave a link to his channel um, and his contest in the description. And yeah, that's everything. So I hope you're all well out there and take care.